right, Will, so you're gonna show us how to do the throat and the cheeks on this red grouper, huh? Yes. I'll fillet him first, but then after that, we'll do the throat and the cheeks. All right, so cheeks, fillet him first. Cheeks are simple, but the, uh, the throat is a little more complicated. I'll try to come all the way out there and get all that head meat. A lot of guys don't do that. They just yeah. go right there. Don't go straight. You gotta go all the way forward on that forehead. Cut along the backbone. I'll take a little more precaution here than I do sometimes just because I'm on TV. <laughs> and I just kind of work my way up on that backbone, get it all the way to the rib bone right there. All the way to the ribs. And then you kind of got to go up a little bit when you get to the rib right there. That rib cage goes up. Slider going down. Nice fillet. Red fillet. Red grouper fillet, no ribs in it. Now do that head slice first for whatever reason. I don't know if that's necessary. The second side I do it a little differently then. Yeah, you gotta kinda of switch it up on the second one. You have a different angle. Yeah. Jason, you watching? You learning how to do this too? I'm just watching your eye. Uh, <laughs> And this side, it's easier for me to leave the rib in, so a lot of times I'll, I'll just cut through that rib on this side and then let Jason take the rib bone out. So those are the two different ways of doing it. One, one side cutting slowly down and then the other side taking the rib bone with it. Now you're ready to do the cheeks and the throat. Yeah, now the cheeks, I'll position the head facing away from me. And I'm sure there's many different ways to do this, but I'll come in right behind that gill right there. That's where the cheek starts right here, but it's really skinny at the start of it. Come up under that jaw and go as far as you can under that jaw. So now you've cut it out of there. Come around and you don't actually skin it. You just cut it down to right there and get your thumb underneath it. Pull that cheek off and then rip it. So you don't have to skin it, you just rip it. There, uh, from where she came. Where, from whence it came. All right, let's see the other side. This side, I actually like this side better, but, then the, but it's a little scarier with the knife coming at you. But you can get it with a piece of meat I can off of this side. Just cut enough to where you can get your thumb under there and pull that piece of meat out. Bang. Nice. Now the throat is a little more complicated. There's a little spot here. A little, little side spot. A little line right there, and you get up under that line, and then it goes the other way once you get past it, and you got to go back down. You're feeling underneath that bone. Yep, and then once you get down there, there we go. I'm not really worried about the belly at this time. I'll cut behind those two uh, bottom fins there. Now flipping over to the other side. And you can go all the way back through the belly if you wanted to. Yeah, you can keep that whole belly on there. And there's that little tab right there you got to get under. Cut forward. Forward. And then and back. Underneath. Yeah, I'll come around, spin him around. Forward. And then there's the other piece of that tab. And you just get underneath that. And that throat's going to come right out of there. One more spin. Like I said, the throat is slightly more complicated than... The cheeks. The cheeks. But I've got it about ready to remove right now. Maybe one more little cut on the stomach lining. And here she this comes. going to get us kicked out of the YouTube again. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's hard to cut right there, but if you twist it. Twist it and break the bone. Yeah. It'll at least get to where you can cut it easier. And now Jay, Jay's going to show you what to do with it now that you've cut it out. It's not quite done yet. So now you got to clean her up a little Pretty bit. much taking the skin off the bottom in the guts. You can have the throat out. Getting the belly contents out of the front of the throat where it connects. I'm trying to get that stomach lining off there. Pretty good. And now you just kind of flatten her out by breaking it. And now she's ready for the grill or the frying pan. Leave the fins on there. The fin oh, yeah. fins are the best part, especially if you fry it. They're little potato chips. And you're ready. Thank you, Will. 
Thank yes, you, Jason. Sir. That's how it's done. <laughs>